Hello, hello Sabre fans, uh, welcome to an episode, um, welcome to, well, welcome to Force Sabres, welcome to me, welcome to you all. Um, so, I'm trying to get more content up on the Force Sabres channel, as you may have noticed, and um, sorry about the little dance, I'm a little, I work all, I work all day by myself, all day, every day. Uh, you, you, know, you get a bit loopy with no one to talk to. Um, so anyway, the reason why I'm on the video today is because I have a, a really nice customer. Uh, he's ordered quite a lot of lightsabers from me in the past. He's a really, really nice guy. Um, and uh, he's actually got uh, a really sick, uh, really sick suit. It's like he got the proper hood, the cape, like really cool body armor. Uh, he's got actually he's got some really good skills as well with lightsaber. He's, he's actually a lot better than me. Uh, he showed me uh, some a clips uh, or some video of his uh, his stuff, and he's really really good. And he, when he's in his get up, he looks proper awesome. Uh, he'd be the kind of guy if you saw him at Comic Con, you'd be like, oh my god, that's a bit, you're amazing. I love you. So yeah, really cool guy. Um, about three months ago, he um, asked me if I could make some lightsaber daggers. Uh, I've never made daggers. Um, but I said, yeah, you know, I don't mind uh, looking out for you. Uh, he wants a 20-inch blade, so that's not a problem. Um, we're going with the RGB. Because he wants a 20-inch blade and because it's a dagger, I suggest we go with the RGB setup because it's going to be a lot lighter. I can cut the blades down to whatever length he needs them to be, so that's fine. Um, and he just makes it easier all around. Um, so he gave me... We, we had a bit of a talk about what he wants. Um, and he gave me quite a lot of leeway, I think he gave me quite a lot of leeway, I hope he did. Um, and uh, I had some ideas, I drew them down, I don't like those. So I've redone some of the designs uh, and I've done them again. But uh, I'm going to show you them to you now. So this is the first one. So inside the hilt, the internals are a LGT pre-made rgbx dark wolf uh, soundboard so uh, basically it's um it's all pre-made uh, the hilt the chassis is about from here to about here so it's about that long uh one of the things that are really annoying and really hard to do was to actually tap these holes here so these ones here to actually put them in the exact place. Now, when LGT make their lightsaber handles, um, they've got um, a CNC machine that can put these holes to the micron to where it needs to be. Uh, I don't have that luxury. I have to do it by hand. It's very, very hard to get holes lined up exactly right. Um, and even though I did, uh, and there was actually a single hole for this one and a single hole for this one, uh, because the metal is so insanely thin with like under one mil, um, I didn't want anyone to get cut. I didn't want it to be sharp. So I actually took out that section there um, just just to make it easier, really. Um, it's all being smoothed off and sanded down around there. So it's none of, nothing is sharp on this. Um, and it's, it's, just, it's just a really, really nice, really nice design. I quite like this bit here. I'll turn it on for you. And there we are. I um, the reason why I did that is because I just thought it, you, you'd have the whole lightsaber in hand like this, and it just it, it'd always be looking at you. So this would always be facing you. Or the vast majority of the time, this section here would always be facing at you. And I just thought. I just think that looks good. I really like that. So this is quite a simple design. Nothing, nothing too elaborate. Um, so he's got the gesture controls and everything on there. And you can program the gesture controls on the RGBX Dark Wolf board. Um, I'll just turn this off. I think that's a serenity. I don't know. And you can do all the same things with this board that you can do with all the other RGB. So you can change the blade colour, you can change profile. I think there's 12 profiles on that. Uh, and that's what it's like without the blade. So, I, I just think it's really nice. Uh, these are one-offs, by the way. I'm not making any more of these. 
and the second one they wanted is I'll take this oh no <laughs> I've got the blade locked in place so you need to undo that there we go and this is the second one it's just been on charge because it needed some power but I actually I think I like this one more it's got a lot more weight to it because this is stainless steel so that's really heavy um, but you've got these finger grooves here so you can hold it really well and it's really really comfortable um, and, and I've, I've wanted to do this for some time but yeah I, I really like this one it's kind of got like a, a steampunk type of feel uh, I really like I've never done this before as well so I really like that emitter section it's very different again uh, this has a slightly different cutout section um, compared to the other one um, it's just I, because they are different hilts I thought I'd give them both a different kind of look uh, that's where you tighten and lock the blade up um, and you've got a little built-in d-loop there so you can clip onto your clothing but yeah I, I like that I, I think this one's my favorite one I really do so but and these are this is all riveted on in place so you can see the rivets are here and here i don't know i like i like that it just looks it just looks really cool it has damaged my meter saw actually cutting this stainless steel the meter saw is really good uh it's really handy for cutting things like aluminium and all that sort of which i use all the time for stainless steel yeah, it, it does not like stainless steel and I've basically it's a brand new blade almost I've only had it for a few months or no, a few months I think and uh, I've just had to spend 45 pounds on another brand new blade because it's just it's knackered now which is a real shame um, but yeah I'll, uh, I'll put the other blade in so you can have a look at it hang on just tighten that You can change blade colour, so you'll jump through. I like red. I've got, I've got to say. I do, uh, I do like this. Serenity, a second, Dark Ages. Yeah. So, you can't really see inside there is a protective mesh over the speaker. Um, just so... But yeah, that's uh, that's the two daggers. So uh, I think he's going to like them. I think he'll be very happy. I mean, they are very different. What well, this one is very different to what I normally make. I, I just look. It's got a real steampunk kind of feel. Really like it. Um, just so you know, please don't ask if I can make you one of these. Um, just to make this section this one thing here it took me about two three hours to do that and I had to manually by hand uh, get a file and file these out I was dripping with sweat at the end of it because my god what a workout but I'm, I'm not going to make any more of these I kept this destroyed my uh, blade on my meat so like I said it was 45 pounds to replace it um, so I just I just can't do it if I can find this, or if anybody knows where, if I can, where to get this uh, perforated tube in aluminium from, please put in the comments, let me know, and uh, I could bring out a lot more with this kind of style, but yeah, um, that's the, the two hills, I, I really like them, I really, really do, um, just really, really nice uh, lightsaber daggers, so yeah, I hope you like the video. Um, I will be back with another one in the near future. Gesture controls. Um, yeah, I'll be back in the future uh, with another video. 
But uh, if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, or if there's anything you'd like to see, uh, by all means, please get in touch and let me know. I will be bringing out more videos. Uh, and I am planning on doing a lightsaber build video where you actually get to see um, how I make these things. Um, and you know, I'll actually show you the process I go through because there is a lightsaber I have in mind. Um, so I'm thinking of recording the process for that. So until the next time, um, have a good day. <laughs> have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.